Now we're going to do the flying downward dog and we're going to use the chair. Yes, this pose is really good. It's also the same as before, but this time we are going to be flying. You will know why. It's going to be obvious. We're going to use the chair and the rope. And this is going to release stress also. It's going to release the stiffness in the neck, in the shoulders. And it's going to strengthen the back of the leg. So it's, really, it's a really good pose to release stress also. So watch us the, the foot. We are in the tip of the toe. And then we go walk forward and press one leg. Press the left leg on the wall and push it. And then bring the other. Cool. See that your the feet, my feet are parallel. Yes, my legs are extended. Now, watch, we're gonna push the chair forward and watch the arms. My arms are rotating from inside out and the torso is going to my legs. I will stay like hours like this. And then, Watch again, and it's the same pose. So we have the same uh, the same action than before. So see how Lexi is rotating the arm from inside out. Rotate your arm from inside out. Rotate your yes, that's it. And now see how she is extending the legs. Extend the legs. Extend the legs. Yes, and rotate your side from outside in. Keep extending the legs. Yes, more. There you go. And breathe into the pose. Breathe. And keep rotating your arms. So sometimes we do one thing and we forget the other. So we have to maintain all the actions at the same time. That's yoga. Rotate your arms from inside out. Rotate your legs from outside in. And extend. And release your head. And breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. And now release the, the chair and hold your elbows. And again, the same action with the legs. The head is loose. So breathe in. And this, this pose also helps to extend the spine. Yeah, it feels really great on the back. And to extend the neck. It's so really stretching out your whole back. If you release your head, your head, the, the, the weight of the head will make the shock to strengthen the spine. So everyone who has a pinched nerve here, you can release really well with this pose and release your head and extend your legs and breathe into the pose. Now next pose is child pose. So watch as we bend the legs and in this pose, the toes are together and the knees are apart. Yes, that's it. Very nice. And release your head. This also releases the lower back. And breathe. It's a very relaxing posture. <laughs> yes, that's why I wasn't talking. Very calming. Now, keep releasing, keep releasing. And now, to come out, bring the tips, curl your toes under, curl your toes under. Yes, and now walk down. Very good. And 
Angin Utanasana, intense forward bend, release your head, bring your hands to your hips, roll your shoulders back, and come up. Thank wow, you. that was great. I feel so energized.